cosmetic surgery stop right there. There are makeup tricks of the trade that will erase your double chin, enhance your cleavage to look more like mine, and make you look, why is that always funny? And make you look so drop dead gorgeous that people will think you had work done. And here to tell us what they are is the author of Plastic Surgery Without the Surgery, Emmy Award winning view crew makeup artist, Eve Pearl. Welcome, Eve. Thank you. You do my makeup every day so beautifully. Get started. There's so many people in your book. That you picked a few of them. The first one up is Amy. Now, what did Amy want to change about her face? Well, Amy wants to define her cheekbones. She wants to hide the slight, you know, hint of a double chin, and she wants to increase the size of her upper lip. So now, instead of spending all the money to, you know, cut out the cheek area or to cut out the double chin to suck out that fat or to have inject injecting collagen into your lips, we're going to do it with very, very simple easy makeup tricks. So show us what you did. Take us through the steps. Well, with Amy, I began by applying a yellow-based creamy foundation to even out the skin tone. Then I powdered to set it. Now with a small brush, I applied a taupey shadow to the hollows of the cheekbones, underneath the chin and the jawline. Now remembering to blend it back towards the neck. Using a pinky peach blush, I applied it over the dark contours to soften and blend it out. Adding that light powder there really makes the cheekbones pop. I used a creamy pencil to create a slightly fuller shape to the lips, and then I filled in the rest uh, of the lip area. And you can also top that off when you're done filling it in with a nice lip gloss. It makes it pop out. Okay, let's see Amy now. Let's see what she looks like. Wow. Wow, fantastic. Now, Steve, you applied that dark powder. She looks gorgeous. I'm staring at her. So you use that dark powder on the cheekbones, but everyone's facial structure is different, so how do you know exactly, if you're at home, where to put it? That's a great question, Elizabeth. If you suck in your cheeks like this and you feel this area here, the area right underneath that hard bone, that's the hollow. That's where you want to put the contour. But always, please, remember to blend it out, because you never want to have dark lines anywhere here or here. Okay. Just blend it out. We'll give the secret away? Mm -hmm. That's the secret. Is okay. Blending is the key to having makeup look flawless. Okay, okay you look gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. All right. And then beautiful. under the chin, you used it as well, correct? You, because... Under the chin, you put it in, and then you blend it back towards your neck. Everything is blunt back. You know, everything back. Pulling it back. Pulling it back. Thanks. Almost like you would in any kind of surgery. Just keep pulling back. Exactly. For you. Just keep pulling back. <laughs> and yeah. Instead right. of knives, you just you know, use a little bit of br brushes and powders. Right. Okay, up next exactly. is Pudessa. <laughs> thank, um, thank you, sweetie Amy. You look great. Up next is Pudessa. Now, what yes. did Pudessa want to do to her face to change it? She looks great to me. She yeah. does. You know, she's really self conscious about the splotchiness in her skin. She wants to have, she wants to define her face, have contours, but still really maintain a soft look, opening up her eyes. So with any softness, you know, you want to remove the, the eyebrow area and then continue with the thing. So instead of spending thousands of dollars, again, time and money in expensive laser treatments, like dermabrasions and, derm abrasions like that, yeah. and um, bleaching, you know, we're going to do it with very, very simple makeup tricks. And Show again, us. for the eyebrows, oh. so we're going to begin by I use a white pencil to outline the area to pluck. Now, applying Ambisol on the brows will numb the area and leave you feeling no pain when plucking. Wow. Yep. Then I cut the excess hair with a scissor. And using three shades of a concealing foundation, I first apply the light shade to the T-zone. I apply the medium shade everywhere else. And you blend the two together because you want to have a nice smooth look. Now when you finish blending that together, you contour the nose with a very thin brush and then the lower cheekbones. Now when you contour, again, blending is very important to maintain that soft look. And after powder, um, you put powder to, uh, to set all of this foundation. And then you can continue with the rest of your makeup application. Okay, let's see Podesta. Do you want to turn around? Wow. Lovely. And I'm tearing up. I would have never thought to use any sort of treatment like Ambisol on there. Yep. And there's also another trick. Actually, Meredith, we do it on you because you don't like plucking. I hate it. Oh, yeah. I use uh, an eyebrow razor. If you take a little bit of conditioner and you put it under your on your eyebrows and use a little razor, it'll you can just shave it the same way you use to shave your legs. Really? Actually, that same conditioner can use to shave your legs. It's really nice. And now, what about the T zone? Because I, I okay, I the that. T zone. Where is it? The reason that you saw over there that I use a really light um, foundation yeah. to begin with. The T zone is this area right over here. It's what you want to again bring out. Okay. And women with oily skin, sometimes makeup can oxidize, which means it'll turn it darker. So you want to go with a shade or two lighter. And within a half an hour, you'll see it'll turn the same color as the rest of your body. And also, this is true for women who are out in the sun a lot. Don't use um, sunscreen, and your face get, can get a little bit darker than the rest mm -hmm. of your body. So you always want to match your face to the rest of your body. Okay. Great. It doesn't look like some weird thing hit on the rest of your body, right? Some like sort some of mask. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. No masks. Okay, Podessa, you look beautiful. Thank you. And finally up is Megan. Now, Megan wanted bigger boobs. 
Who doesn't? That was it. <laughs> so, uh, Megan really, like so many women out there, just wants to have a little bit more voluptuous look. So we did not want her taking the route of going and getting, you know, implants. implants because it's not only costly, it's also dangerous. And she's adorable. So she took the first... You're going to turn her into a slut, but that's okay. Of course. <laughs> well, isn't this right. the right show? <laughs> yes, exactly. So, I mean, Megan did take the first step by putting on a push-up bra. And then what I did with Megan is uh, with a blush brush, I applied bronzer using back and forth windshield wiper like strokes. Now try to keep both sides even, of course. <laughs> and then um, using a thin brush, I applied an ivory shade right in the center. And then you just right there in the center to blend it out. And then you can repeat these steps several times until you get the look, the desired look. Okay, Megan, can we see you and your two new friends? <laughs> wow. That's dramatic. Wow. Actually, she looks that's gorgeous. I know we have three friends at home who are doing this right now. And, oh. you know, just want to be a little subtle. How do you know? What, I mean, can you take it too far? If you're in there with a the brush and nervous, can you make your... You well, know? yes. You know, you really want to take it as far into the bra area as possible because, you know, you move around, your clothes can move, so you don't ever want to have a yeah. shade that just stops there. Take it as far in as you can, like in a round circular, like the way, you know, perky... I got to tell you, Eve did that for me, same kind of top for an award ceremony one, one night, and I got more men who want to take the picture with me. Never happens like that. <laughs> they thought, whoa, she grew overnight. <laughs> so our thanks to all the ladies and to Eve Pearl and everyone in our audience. Audience, you're getting a copy of Eve's book. We'll be right back. Coming up next, Elizabeth dresses the co-host